so stop it's like oh my gosh my voice hi everyone welcome back to my channel so my name's irene and i create videos about k-pop auditions every single sunday so make sure to subscribe and like this video if you want more of that and i actually posted a community post a couple of days ago saying if the dance version of evaluating your video got to 700 likes that i would make a vocal version and here i am delivering with that exactly so in today's video i'm going to evaluate one of my subscribers videos that was sent to me a while back but now i'm just getting to to it so we're gonna open it up and see how that looks it's a little bit different from dance just because i have more of a set process when it comes to evaluating your video so i wrote this down so i could share it with you guys so firstly is seeing how long the video slash recording is to kind of see what i am getting myself into this goes for both vocal and dance and then i do a first run through again i did the same for dancing if you saw that video but i just judge the overall quality of the video the overall potential and talent that i see in the applicant and then how it sounds overall so now we're getting into the specifics of vocal so your tone quality any high notes that stand out or even low notes if that is applicable to the video and then pitch issues all of that is kind of evaluated in the first round of watching the video so in the second run through of the video i look for specific techniques that are used in the video so this might be vocal control projection enunciation your volume and then also the balance between softness and power how you go back and forth between that how you're able to balance both if it's just powerful or if it's just too soft that's just obviously not good enough so for that obviously you can notice these things but i think in the second run through that's emphasized even more and then i do a final run through of things that I missed before or specific parts with timestamps that I want to look back on, I'm going to do that in the final run through the video. And then finally, I'll talk about the song choice and the stage presence in the video. And I'm going to email off to that person. But let's get actually into the video. So I'm going to first download it. Let's switch onto the screen here. All right, we're going to download the video now and see. All right, so this is the number one mistake that I see. You actually submitted a video that has an, an inappropriate title, I would say. Like Snapchat, come on, you could probably name that to be a little bit better. So probably um, whatever entertainment audition and then dash whatever your name is. That would be the preferred title. And then also vocal category if you have multiple categories that you are submitting. And then another mistake that you're making is actually, you know, not actually adjusting the video so that it's viewable for the judges. Honestly, if I'm being honest, if judges see this, they probably will skip to the next video if they don't see that it's accessible for them. They are going to make the effort to re-download the video again or adjust it so that it is correctly in frame, if that makes sense. But of course, because I'm evaluating this and I have to show you guys, I'm going to change the video so that it is in the correct position. All right, let's do the first run through then. Hello, my name is Paj. I'm currently 16 years old. Today I will be auditioning in vocal category. I hope you guys look forward to me. If I were a boy, even just for a day, I'd roll out of bed in the morning and so what I wanted to go. Drink beer with the guys. And chase out the girls I can't give it to a funny Cause I'll never get confronted for it Cause they stick up for me If I were a boy I think I could understand How it feels to love a girl I swear I'll be a better man I don't listen to her. Okay. So here are the first things that I noticed that I think should be corrected immediately. And those are just the first things that come to mind. So firstly is the introduction that you have at the beginning of the video. You definitely don't want to include that unless the company specifically asks for it, which is very, very rare. I would say like maybe 2% of the time that happens. So a lot of the times the companies do not want you to do an introduction at the beginning of the video, similar to how it would go in an in-person audition. They don't want you to introduce yourself and say, oh, hi, my name is this. I'm 18 years old and I'll be doing this. They don't want to hear that. They just want to hear your category or see your category if it's a dance. So... 
The next thing that I noticed is actually your background noise. There is a little bit of background noise and for a vocal video that might be a little bit disruptive. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but if you are able to film that in a place or in a time where there isn't background noise, that would be preferred. And then I would actually make eye contact from the start. So if I see the video right after your introduction, you actually look away from the video. So you kind of look down and then start singing and then slowly start to make eye contact with the video or with the camera again. But I would recommend making eye contact from the start so that you can showcase your stage presence. In those first few seconds of the video, so in your case, right after that introduction, you really want to make sure that the judges are captivated by your video. And if you're looking away from the camera, it's not probably the best way to do that. And then also we're going to talk about the ending. So at the end, what you did was I don't listen to her. Yeah, you just immediately stop and you don't really like collect yourself at the end or even say thank you and then just immediately pause the video. Firstly, if you do want to just like abruptly stop like that, I would just cut the video as is. But what I recommend is finish the sentence or finish the last line of your song and then say thank you. So let's do another run through and notice some of the details and specific timestamps that you could correct in your vocals. Wait, I kind of forgot that I actually need to type this up. So give me some time for me to actually type up the evaluation. Oh my gosh. Firstly, Corgi. Excellent. As well. All right, it's kind of hard for me to type right now because I got these nails done. This one has already fallen off. Oh my gosh. Anyway, where were we? All right, so that part, I think 19 seconds. I throw a lot of bed in the morning. Bed. That part, you're using your nasal voice a little bit too much and pushing your sound out. Right now, it just doesn't sound as pleasant as it could be. So what I recommend is reducing your nasal sound and making sure that your sound is coming from your chest and not from the back of your throat or your nose. That can just sound a little bit off, especially in more of a soft song choice like this one. Okay, this closer to like 20 seconds, actually. Do you guys also hear that part? And chase... That part is a little bit nasally as well, similar to that, so I'm going to include that in the evaluation and the feedback. Make sure that you aren't pushing your sound out here. Yes. Alright, so in that timestamp, I think it was around 37 seconds to 41 seconds, you actually have an odd way of enunciating the words, so it's very like staccato described in like musical terms it's like very the 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 instead of being fluent like na, 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 as it was in the like pre previous parts of the video you're just like pushing it out without making the bird sound fluid if that makes sense so i highly recommend that you actually focus on kind of loosening up your enunciation but at the same time pronouncing the words correctly because sometimes you don't want to go you don't want to overcorrect your problem too much over correcting this shoot either hopefully that makes sense hopefully this person actually watches my video and hears me explaining this because for some reason the words are not just being typed well today does this thing definitely no stop okay okay so that's when you know the pitch gets a little bit off and i heard that i noticed that in my first run through of the video now it seems as though this person is actually trying to do a key switch, like a key change in the middle of the song, which if it is in the original song, you have to follow that, but it's just not being followed correctly. And so there's a lot of pitch issues in the second half of the video starting from there. So that's definitely one of the most important things and most important issues that I see in this video. Now, I don't have perfect pitch, but that note specifically sounds a little bit flat to me. So at 47 seconds, let's play that again. You guys also notice how that sounds a little bit off. Even if you don't have like amazing pitch hearing, I think you can still kind of notice that. It does get corrected later on after that second, I realize, but that really just breaks the whole flow of the video, I feel like, if you are a little bit too off pitch. So that is one of the most important parts. Be careful here. 
like, all right, let's revisit that list that I had before about what I usually look for. So vocal control, projection, and enunciation, volume, balance between softness and power. All right, so I would say all of these things are pretty good, except for, you know, the enunciation that I talked about earlier. But there's like a good level of volume and vocal control. I would say, though, this song twist in itself is on the easier side. You're not really showcasing really cool vocal techniques that might be cool to watch for the judges or anything like that's outstanding, I suppose. So I wouldn't say that I recommend this specific song choice too, too much. But if you were to go with this, I would correct these issues. All right, so the last thing that I noticed, kind of elaborating on what I talked about previously, is actually the first entrance of each line. It actually sounds a little bit too... It just doesn't sound as pleasant as it could be, as I mentioned before. So an example of like, if, you know, it like jumps on it, it attacks on it. Instead of if, like, you know, slowly, gradually entering that note, it attacks it. Like, if... Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. I just want to make sure that entrance on every single line is a little bit more smooth and slowly transitions from the end of the line to the next. 17 vocals. The word of the day today seems to be pleasant. All right. I think stage presence, obviously, could definitely be improved and the song choice as well. I mean, stage presence, I really don't feel your emotions. When I see an audition video, what makes you stand out amongst all the other people, like not you specifically, but like when I'm watching an audition video, is your stage presence and how you connect your emotions to the song choice. Right now, I just don't see that too, too much. I do see like glimpses of it here and there, but I would really like to see it more improved. So think about the lyrics, think about how that might connect to your own life and even even if it doesn't, try to envision yourself in that and really um, showcase it through your facial expressions and obviously your vocal techniques. But I think the first stage is to practice your facial expressions. So watch videos and find inspiration from artists who have a similar song to this, like a similar style of song where it's talking about love or something like that. And then watch how they utilize their facial expressions to their advantage. So that's the last thing that I would add to this evaluation. Lastly, I hit, I don't see in your facial. Okay. I'm gonna elaborate more on that and then show you guys the final product right here. This is what I sent to the subscriber who submitted their video. So thank you so much. I really hope this feedback is valuable to you. Thank you guys for, you know, giving me 700 likes on that previous video so for the next evaluation where i evaluate my subscribers video it's probably going to be when i reach 200k so if you're not subscribed what are you doing oh my gosh hit that subscribe button bro why do i sound like such a typical youtuber today anyway that's it for this video i really hope you guys learned something and it was useful and i'll see you guys in the next one bye